Hello, my beautiful internet friends. Finally, the video we've all been waiting for, or maybe no one's been waiting for it. Let me know if you've been waiting for it. How is my little leg doing? What happened at the three doctor's appointments that I had in one day in Denver, which was exhausting? The real question, is my leg still being eaten by a zombie? Yeah, that's the wrong way of phrasing it. Is it auditioning to be a part of The Walking Dead? Slowly but surely. So I have an answer to that question, finally. But let me just say that it's not pretty. Like, it's not a bad answer necessarily, but it's not visually appealing. It grosses me out again. So just forewarning, if you don't like medical things, this is not the video for you guys. So this video is actually sponsored by a really, really cool app that I had heard of before I was looking into and then they contacted me and I was super excited to work with them. That app is called Abridge. So this app actually helped me during the course of these three doctor's appointments. Have you ever had the issue of not being able to clearly remember? Number what your doctor said. I know that I have. Sometimes there's conflict about what you think they said and what they actually said. And sometimes family members want to come and can't make it. And here is an app that actually solves all of those issues. I am sincerely really excited about it. A bridge is all about health stories and recording your conversations with doctors so that you do not have any of those issues anymore. And I guarantee you I will be using it in every doctor's conversation to come. So how does it work? Once your doctor walks into the room, you just hit the record button and you, and you start recording what your doctor says. Once they're done, you hit the pause button, you let it know you're all done. You can give it a name, you can tell it which doctor you're actually working with and then save it. You just hit the record button. So it even has software that identifies important moments and transcribes those for you so they're easy to access. One thing to make sure of before you start using this app, this is just a personal recommendation, check if you are in a one or two party consent state for recording conversations. A lot of states you are legally required to let anyone in the room know if you're recording them. So you'll want to double check what kind of state you're in or what kind of country you're in. It's always nice to let someone know that you're recording them. So I would highly recommend that you let your doctor know that you're recording these conversations. All you need to do to download a bridge is to click the link in the description down below and I would highly recommend that you do just that. Without further ado, let's dive in to how this little nubbin is doing and if it's been eaten by a zombie just yet or if it's still being munched on. Good morning my beautiful internet friends. Today is the day that we find out what the heck is going on underneath this cast. If the flesh eating disease has eaten the rest of my leg, if I have a leg left, you know, important questions like that. Did the doctor say that it wasn't a flesh eating disease and it's just an allergy? Sure, but I mean, I, th I think we both know that it's definitely um, turning into a zombie. So uh, hopefully we'll get some updates on that. I'm actually meeting with the, the plastic surgeon who did the nerve work. I'm meeting with my actual doctor today and I'm meeting with my prosthetist. So it's gonna be a really busy day up in Denver. It is gonna be a long day. I uh, didn't quite make it to the, the hair and, and makeup stage. I'm just, I got dressed. I put earrings in and now I'm gonna go lay down until it's time to go because I, Man, it is incredible how much energy it takes to like sit up. <laughs> Safely settled in the back seat. We got a little hop along coming along for the ride. Gotta keep my leg elevated still. It looks so much better. And now for the big moment. Okay, so it looks kind of super gross and I, I don't love how it looks. If you're a skin picker like me, like I was just dying to pick this off the moment that I saw it, but basically, good news, it's healing really well. The allergic reaction is going down. But they did kind of surgically remove the, uh, the dead skin and also get my stitches out, which I am super grateful for. Next was actually to get x-rays and casting done. So we're waiting for x-rays right now, but we got pretty much all of the scab, I guess, taken off and it a lot better. So stitches are out too. And that crease that I had, you can see like the outline of it, but it doesn't look like it's actually, I'm sure when the swelling goes down, like 
some of it will probably come back, but it looks pretty good. Apparently a zombie is no longer eating my leg. It's no longer auditioning for The Walking Dead. I guess this, uh, this discoloration could stay, so it won't really like scar, but it might always look a little bit different. I wonder if I could make an art project out of this. What do you think, Mom? No, okay. <laughs> the x-rays showed absolutely no issues and here is one moment where using the Abridge app was really important because Brian really wanted to be there and he couldn't make it so I was able to record the conversation and show him when I got home. Here they are recasting it with purple, thank God. What a beautiful color, I just love it. safely back home. I am completely exhausted, but hey, good news guys. Everything is healing well. Everything is going along smoothly. There we have it. Uh, basically all good news, which is really encouraging. I finally had three doctor's appointments in a row that uh, nothing went wrong. So I'm really grateful for that. I will say that I feel like I've re reached kind of maximum amputee stuff. I'm so tired of recovery and my limb and amputee stuff and just all of it. And I'm, I'm definitely struggling with that right now. And I'm glad that I don't have to go back for two weeks. I can kind of just mentally take a break and maybe we'll have some different videos on this channel that don't deal with my leg because I'm kind of kind of had enough of it. Thank you again to Bridge for sponsoring this video. I truly appreciate it and I honestly like their app so make sure that you click the link in the description to download the app today. Thanks to my patrons for believing in me. Thank you for watching this video and spending some time with me today. I love you guys. I'm thinking of you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Down the river high tide.